This video covers the basics from downloading and installing Obsidian, how much it costs, how to set up your first folder or vault, writing your very first note, where the notes are located and how to organise folders, getting around Obsidian in general, and lastly, looking at the touch interface features. Hello, I'm going to download and install Obsidian on an old iPhone 6S, just to show you that it can work on older devices. So the first thing you need to do is go into the App Store and search for Obsidian. It's Obsidian Connected Notes and it's made by a company called Dynalist. If you download that, it takes a moment. Hello, I've switched over to the iPad so you can see my mouse clicks and that makes it easy for you to follow what's going on in my video. So after you've downloaded Obsidian from the App Store and you open it up for the first time, it will bring up this screen to create a new vault or to open up an existing vault. So as I've said in earlier videos, a vault is just simply a folder where Obsidian will go to find all of your notes or all of your data so this folder is kept on your device and i'm going to create a brand new vault so we click on the plus and i'm going to give it a name so i am going to i'm just going to call it demo vault just so i know that i've done that and i'm going to store it in icloud so that all of my i devices can have access to those notes i'm going to create that and now I've created a folder or a vault where all of my notes are going to be kept. Before you go on any further and start using Obsidian, you might want to know how much it costs to use the software. And the answer to that question is nothing. There's no restrictions on how many notes you create, how many devices you use, because all of the data is kept on your device and or iCloud. There are some paid options, however. If you want Obsidian's own syncing service called Obsidian Sync, you can go into your settings and you can enable that under Core Plugins. And if you make use of the synchronizing your files through Obsidian Sync, that costs four US dollars a month. But you don't need to use that if you're already syncing through iCloud. And there is an option if you want to share your files with members of the public, basically like a, a public web page, that service is available through Obsidian Publish. That's another four US dollars a month. But if you just want to write notes and have them sync through iCloud to all of your iPhones, iPads and iDevices, that is totally free. So the next thing we need to do when we first use Obsidian is to create our very first note. So a couple of ways of doing this. If you're using an iPhone, you'll be doing this by touch. I'm using the mouse on my iPad. It's the same difference, it's just so you can see what's happening on my screen more easily. So I can create a new file um, and I'm gonna give it a name. So uh, I like when to, um, use today's date in files when I'm using this for uh, daily notes. So I put the year and then I put the month and I put the day. So I think it's the 27th today. And then I go into the, the text editing screen and I'll just type in my notes. I'm not really going to focus on the, some of the formatting or structural elements because we need to know a little bit about Markdown for that to happen. So I'm just going to type in plain text for today. And I'm just going to use a very simple example. So this is my editing screen and I'm typing that. And if I tap on the preview mode, then we would see it as it would be rendered. OK, how it would be displayed to other people in effect. I'm going to go back to my edit mode. So where is our note kept? If we uh, click on 
the expand view for our left panel, we've got our file explorer and in our file explorer we can see all of our different notes and it should be kept in alphabetical order. If I wanted to, I could break up my vault with separate folders. So some people like to keep folders for different subjects or for different um, statuses of their notes. I tend to like to keep quite a flat folder hierarchy within my notes, but this is about personal preference and to do with issues of knowledge management. And Obsidian is extremely flexible about how we can use this. But I will create a folder and I'm going to call this daily notes. And if I wanted to, I would right click and I would move the file to that folder within my vault. So it is kept in my daily notes and I can expand that and see what's kept in there. So, so far, so good. We've created a note, we've created a folder. Um, just to get familiar with some basics of the interface in Obsidian, which we can build on, we've got our graph view here, so we can see our notes that have been created, although there haven't been any relationships created with our notes. Let's go back to the left panel. The command palette is used a lot on the iPhone and the iPad. So there are a couple of ways of getting there. We can open that up and it gives us shortcuts to all of these different actions. And if you've got a keyboard connected to the Obsidian mobile app, you've got all these different shortcuts and it is very useful to have these. So the one that I use a lot is if I press uh, Command and N, it will create a new note for me and I'll do that now. If I just turn that off, if I do Command N, it will create a new note for me and I can just um, type the, the title of that note and that will save it for me. Let's go back to our command panel. If we wanted to change to a different vault, let's say we've got a vault for uh, personal notes and one for professional notes, we could switch between those. The help menu is quite comprehensive and you might want to go there. I'm not really going to go into the settings too much today, but you can go in here to change themes, to change plugins and to change other features of your Obsidian setup. And there we have it. I've covered quite a few of the basics. One last thing, as Steve Jobs used to say, we've got some shortcuts of some things that we might need to use. These are markdown elements. They're available here. And if I, you won't be able to see too well because you can't see my finger, but if I drag down on my finger, then that brings up the command palette as a shortcut. And that brings you all the different actions as shortcuts to let you uh, easily navigate your way around Obsidian for some commonly used actions. Okay, so to summarise, what I've shown you today is how to create a vault, where those notes, or where that vault is kept, and by extension, where those notes are kept in markdown format within your Obsidian uh, area or vault or folder. I've shown you how on the iPad and the iPhone version, you can create a new note and where they're saved. I've shown you how you can uh, create a folder and move things around the folder and I've given you a basic overview about where things are including the left panel and the command palette. I also briefly showed you that there are two view modes. You've got the editing mode where you type in your notes and you've got the preview mode where you see your notes in a finished version. And that's it. In a future video, I'm going to go into a lot more detail about what Markdown is and how we can get familiar with Markdown because it's easy to learn and it's easy to read and it's easy to uh, it's easy to work with. Thank you for watching my video. If you like what you've seen, please comment, like and subscribe. I'll update in a few days.